there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to Soldiers. So last time, uh, last time was certainly a trip. Explored what was left of the bandit lair out in the desert. Challenged you to a race who only won by cheating. And, uh, got ourselves the next leg of the quest where, of, uh, what do we need to do? We need to try and save Yggdrasil, and in order to do that, we need to go pluck a frost fruit from the mountains so that we can resist the fires of the Fire Temple. Today, we're going to ignore all that and go to the sewers. Because I said I was going to do it, and I'm going to do it. And I actually also have an idea on what I might need to do to get that treasure uh, way over there to the left. But that's, that's going to wait. That's going to have to wait for now. All right, so, having sewers. There's a lot of places I could go, but the first thing I want to do is go down there. Because there is a blue treasure box. Looks like the best way to do that would be to warp, since I can't go through that door over there. So let's fast travel right here. And then I'll go around and up. We'll see if it works. Who knows? It might, it might not. I don't know. Yeah, and that's the path down into the uh, sunken lab. Well, for starters, here's a small treasure. Ammo that I honestly didn't really need. Oh, yeah, I want to also... Hmm. Does Piggy Bomb work correctly underwater? Yes, but it's not going to help me get it in here. I think, then, that that's probably a slime door. Because there's no way... Well, I don't know. That pig bomb got pretty far. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, too? Really? What's Cthulhu doing here? Wait a minute. That wall where the water level cuts off. Never mind, I guess the big bomb can't go through the urchins and I blew myself up for no reason. Ow. Whatever, it's obvious I'm gonna slime around here somewhere at some point, somehow. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume it's all for that. Anyway. A sea urchin. Throw the sea urchin shell and watch as its spines shoot in every direction. Ooh. It's a freaking spike bomb that's cool i like that a lot uh but i'm not really seeing anywhere that i could feasibly uh turn into a slime nearby these are just great walls that i can't do anything with but yeah I, it, it's clear i need to be a slime and there's a slime pool there Oh, wait a minute! I'm on the other side of this wall now! I didn't even notice! <laughs> Whoops! Okay. Well, got some Ragnarite, and... If I was looking at them at everything correctly, yeah, I should be able to get to that slime pool by going down here. Ah, oh, we got ourselves a bat! Alright, how do you feel about fire, Mr. Bat? You don't like it, or you don't, you don't care about it. I'm checking this on purpose because I really want to test my theory about nope okay confirmed it's not actually fire which is weird to me I feel like the alchemist fire should be a fire weapon but it did neutral damage to the thing that was resistant to fire and it does neutral damage to things that are also weak to it logic Rock right, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna continue on this breadcrumb trail for now before I double back. Like, I did see that luminous pool that I passed by. It's just that the path also continues in this direction. And I wanna check it out. Oh. And it looks like my uh, traversal has borne some fruit for there'd be a boggle in here. Behind bars, it would seem. And that lady is gone. I'm gonna 
guess that she was only there so that way I didn't wander through the half in sewers so that I left the way I did for that cutscene with Leandris. That's that's my theory. I bet that's why she was there. Okay. Well, as I climb higher, it seems my birdie friend is uh, singing his song a little faster. Yeah, there's there's the treasure he's singing about over there. Uh, what's up here, though? Anything? Yeah, a lot of things. Oh, but that treasure is isolated, whereas this makes a loop. So let's let's go over here first. Okay. Die, Mr. Rat. There we go. Uh, trying to think. You know what? Let's switch back to the hammers. I do likes me the hammers. Ah, dang it. Okay. Jump, jump, dash, jump, dash. Okay. No. Not possible. I don't think it's possible to climb up there. But it will be possible to climb up there. Whoa, hey! I was wondering about the rats. I clearly saw on the walls there, but didn't expect it to be a breakaway floor. All right, where am I? I have looped back around to where the pools are. Good. So, I was right to do this in the order I did. Let's just make sure that I clear out everything up top here. Hey, secret Beigel. Didn't expect that. Huh. But what about the Beigel down below? Mayhap I must be a slime in order to procure it. After all, it wasn't just behind a wall. It was behind bars. Oh, treasure. There must be treasure hidden behind uh, the water, in the water area over to the right. But first things first, let's check out on that Beigel. I can't go here, can I? No. Ooh. Nah, sewer rats! I didn't think there'd be anything in there, but I had to check. Okay. Yeah, down there. Yeah, those bars look different than the grates anyway. So can slime me slink through? Yeah, we can! All right, well, I gotta go back the way I came anyway, so. I might as well, uh, might as well de-slime and fight my way up a little more efficiently. Ah, have a hammer. There we go. Oh, nice! I froze the rat. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the elemental, um, status skill, which I guess for water translates to ice. Uh, now where was that path? Okay, it was up here. I'll... Oh. I can't go that way. Wait, is it even gonna be possible? Hmm. That's puzzling. So the mystery is, how do I get slime form up there? when all I have is double jump and air dash, but no wall, uh, no wall jumps. Hmm. Cause I don't think I'll be able to get there through here either. Yeah, no. Well, let me at least test another theory. Okay, so I can go here. That's good. That at least confirms a different theory of mine. But it doesn't solve this mystery of how to go through. Okay. The only other thing I can think to do is just brute force my way through the, um... I don't have that many healing potions. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's buy... That should be enough. Um, but yeah, to brute force my way through the urchins. That's the only other thing I can really think to do. I guess let's just warp back to Main Street here and look around. Uh, 
All right. So let's just look at this map again. Yeah, I need to go to the left from that water spot. So I go down here. I need to go left through the urchins. But I can't because that's a slime only path. All of these paths are slime only. So no, I need to be a slime there. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So, remember how I said I had a theory on how to get that treasure? Well, if that theory were proves to be correct, I will be a slime at the entrance to the sewers, right? So then I can enter and be here. Which means it's time to put that theory into action. And you know what that theory is? That theory is to find the earliest one of these things that I can find. And honestly, I think it's the one in the pyramid. So yes, basically what my plan is, is to transform into a slime in the Great Pyramid and then hike it all the way back to Half In City as a doggone helpless slime. I have no idea if this is gonna work. And if it does work, I have no idea if it's the intended method. But if it is, I gotta admit, I find that doggone hilarious. And I kinda hope it is. Ooh. That being said, my little birdie friend is singing a tune. So I might wanna inspectify that first. He is singing a song of treasure. Treasure that is near me. And up. You know what, let's take a look at that. Since I've noticed it and I'm missing so few treasures here, it's a blessing that I've gotten him to sing his song here. I just hope that it's not false, like I was kind of seeing in the bandit's den. All right, you're singing red. Something here, maybe? Hmm. All right, what if I go in here? Oh, you're singing a song in here now. Oh, make sand, thank you. Hmm. Nothing here. Uh, this is exactly what I was worried would end up happening. Because look at where he's singing his song. He's basically pointing to the treasure being... in there. He's pointing to it being in there. That's what he's singing about. Hmm. Okay, well now he's singing his song again. Ugh, I'm getting sidetracked by my bird. Just because I know I'm still missing treasures here. Okay, no, nothing here. Go away, bandit man. Hmm. Where are you finding treasure? I seriously think my bird friend is broken. Okay, well, this is where he was singing his tune earlier. And look at that. Now that I'm on the other side, he's singing nothing. Okay. Yeah, I got a feeling that he's a little on the brokey brokey side. So I'm going to have a real hard time when I do inevitably explore here. Uh, that's enough fooling around with that for now. I will have to just do some exploration later. Because, yeah, look, he's not even singing here now. Um, basically, what I'm going to have to do is explore everywhere, find places he's singing, and then compare it, like, after flipping reality a few times. But, again, that's a stress for another day. For now, I've got a long... Uh, 
I've got a long journey ahead of me. Something. Ah. <sighs> okay. Well then, this is my new goal. It is find a place that I can go with the slime. Or, or find a place I can slime that I can use to return to Half in City. That is today's new mission. Because I'm convinced that that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe not from the pyramid. Did not expect to get thwarted by a ladder and an impossible double jump. I'm going the wrong way. But it's got to be possible from somewhere. I wonder if I could do it from the floating module. Because there are a couple of... Uh, of spots there, right? Mayhap if I were to, um... Uh, what's it? Um... Brain work. Mayhap if I were to... Warp pad. From there. I suppose it's worth a shot. And there is a pool very close by the entrance. So let's give that a try. I honestly didn't realize that there was one that close. I still gotta get Bill off his gears. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll work on that some too, uh, later. Not right now, but later. All right, back to the module. Where are we going? I think I wanna ride the robot. Okay, up we go. Do, do. There we go. Hello, Electro. Ow. Slime it up. Okay, so now I am a slime. Oh, and there's a bagel up there. I'll worry about that in a minute, because I am slime. Alright, does that unslime me? Like, I saw me instant transform, but I've seen that happen as well elsewhere. No, it did not! I am slime! <laughs> Gaze upon the perfect form! This form that can explore the depths of the sewers! Okay, so with this... Hello, cheater. With this, I can get that treasure and explore the rest of the sewers. Mission accomplished! Just gotta... Make my merry way over there. Yoink! Ugh, I'm glad I at least had the right general idea. And it was Asgarite. Cool. So now I just go into the sewers. Any day now, because it takes forever. Yoink! Oh, right, I have to enter. It's not jump in, it's enter. There is a difference. Okay, so I want to go left and down. And I will be able to explore the depths of the sewer. First things first, let's go this way. Okay, this does look like it leads to some kind of treasure. 
and of course Cthulhu bombs, but they like the slime, so it's fine. Money, always good. Hi, Cthulhus. They're real nice once you get to know them, it turns out. Just don't touch them. They're very particular about their personal space. Woo, these ones are guarding a lacrima. Nice. Okay, now for the fun part, uh, the return. That was a little unnerving. <laughs> Ouchie pain. Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to anger you. Oh Lord of the Deep. Okay. So what's the point of this? I haven't the slightest. But there are some more tubes I can explore over here. I really feel like I was supposed to access this area for from that tube. Or, or from, like... Well, I mean, it looks like... It looks like there's a tube there on the mini-map, but it's not. So I don't understand. And I feel like this is maybe the path I was supposed to come from? I really am not sure. Like, it feels like I'm doing this entire area, like, backwards. But, I mean, I'm getting the stuff, so... Hey, I won't complain. I just need to make sure I'm not missing anything amidst these tubes. Yeah, because it's like, why else would these be here if not to help me go up? Because I didn't need them to go down. I'm just using them because, well, you know, they're here. And I am slime. Yeah, I mean, I was clearly supposed to be able to go here as a slime somehow. Okay, well, you're singing a song, so there is some treasure near. Oh, right! This! I forgot about that! Eh. Ooh! Soul Ring Plus Plus! Nice! I need to remember I have those when I get into a tough fight. <sighs> but that takes care of that. Alright. So now, all that leaves for the half in sewers is this everything. So I will meet you there because this will take a minute. All right. Looks like we are here. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I got to do the drop dash jump. Ow. It didn't work quite so well because I didn't can't count for the water. But it led to rocker. I can't go any farther. Okay, so that means the rest of this needs to be explored from the other side. Because I can't even cross those grates as a slime. Which means I need to return via the entrance from the, um, uh, the sunken lab. Honestly, I think I might leave that for later then. Just because it is starting to run a little bit and I don't want to go through the, um, the lab again just yet. I'm gonna get this vital, though. Yoink. And you know what? I think I'm gonna stop it in just a sec here once I get to a save sword. And I am going to take the time now to finish that pyramid. Going through it again and being bothered by it, I want to do it. I want it finished. Like... I, I talked about how I should probably just wait until I have more ways to move around. No. I am bothered by it. It needs to be discovered. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of exploriating. And next time on Soldiers, we'll just pick up whenever I find anything in there. I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but... Oof. It ain't gonna be fun. Oh, well. Either way, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye!